The fact is that uh, knowledge leads to Allah, whether you call it religious or non-religious. And the apparent boundary between the religious knowledge and non-religious knowledge, in fact, does not exist. If you have a right bent of mind, then every knowledge is religious knowledge. Like the Holy Quran explains, Inna fi khalqis samawati wal ardi wa khtilafi al-layli wa nahari la ayati li ulil albaab. Al-lazina yazkuroon Allah qiyamu wa qawudun wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkaroon fi khalqis samawati wal ardi. So here, both the religious and apparently material knowledge, I mean according to some terminology it's material knowledge, they are combined together as religious knowledge. Ulil al-Bab, those who have wisdom, their qualities have been described. <coughs> Number one, they remember Allah, waking and sleeping, rising and sitting in every posture and every way at every time. And secondly, they keep pondering over the laws of nature. And when they ponder over the laws of nature, they direct them to the same Lord of which they were remembering any even before that. So they remain in the constant state of closeness to Allah, whether they are directly remembering Allah or pondering over the laws of nature, that is Allah's creation. So those, uh, the reflections upon the laws of nature send them back to the Lord from where they had started this journey. So that means yeah, they can never travel away from Allah whatever the nature of knowledge be, they are pursuing. So that is very important for Ahmadis to learn, that all knowledge is the knowledge of, of Allah, created by Allah. And if you have the right bent of mind, whatever branch of knowledge you are studying and pursuing would lead you to Allah. And then everything becomes religious knowledge.